I had a meeting in the battle. School of Missions, I think, 2018. Good. I came in work to that meeting. I know that. After the meeting, a young man came to me. He said, I'm, I'm sick in my leg. I'm sick. I have pain in my leg. I know that. Pray for me. Yeah, I think he brought me an offering. But uh, I just said, I said, you're healed. And he left. I knew he was not healed. We call it uh, ministry protocol. Because the way he walked up to me, it was so dishonorable. He just says, uh, I said, please, pray for me. I'm sick in my, uh, my pain in my leg. I'm, I said, you are here. It's gone. Go. But nothing was gone. Then another man came to me, standing up. He was not leading down. He was not doing anything different. But he spoke to me differently. He indulged me. And he said to me, my younger sister is mad. He said, my younger sister is mad. Like he's saying, she's chained. Can you please help us? Can you pray for her? How can she be free? What should we do? Though tired, I saw honor in the heart of a man. And I asked my brother, give him my hand and I gave it to him. I said, go and lay this on her and she'll be well. And he gave me a lesser offering than the first man that was not healed. And the next day, I got news that the girl was well. Madness left the instant the handkerchief touched her. Why? Honor. Honor is not just in gift, it is also in tone. It is in tone. It is in posture. Two men came with different gifts. One greater, the other less. But they went back with different outcomes. The life of the believer will be easier if he understands the culture of honor and he lives by death.